What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how I 3D printed this guitar body. We're going to talk about the design process, the build steps, and at the end there's even a little demo. Let's get started. So I started with this template that I found online and I used that to extrude a body with a thickness of 40 millimeters. And then I added some relief cuts on the top and the bottom and on the back side and I was really trying to keep the guitar light and comfortable. Once I was satisfied with the overall feel and aesthetic, I created some sketches to place the bridge and pickup cavity. I decided to use a single bridge pickup to keep the cost low and to make the build simpler. The next step was to create the grid pattern. Here I chose a grid size of 15 millimeters and then I used that to split the guitar into individual pixels. Then I assigned by hand each pixel to a color and when I was satisfied with the result, I merged the individual pixels that were contiguous into a single shape. I also added this split line in the middle because my printer isn't big enough to print single pieces in one go. Finally, it was time to print. Okay, so the next step is to take these smaller pieces and fit them into the larger pieces. And as you can see, I already inserted this one while I was dry fitting and I couldn't get it out, which is a really good sign. It means that the fit is very tight. I don't think I'm going to have to put any glue in here. I'm just going to friction fit these into place. Nice little snap there. Other pieces like this one have to be inserted directly from above and since the printing process creates these layer lines, I have to sand them down to reduce the friction when inserting them. And now using this clamp, I can just push it in like this. And it's such a tight fit that I don't think I need any glue in here, it's just going to stay there and I don't think it's going to move. Some pieces can't be friction fitted, so I'm going to have to use a bit of glue here some 3D glue to hold it in place. I try not to put too much glue in here because I don't want any squeeze out. The 3D glue is really strong, but it actually melts the plastics together. So if I use too much glue and there's squeeze out, it's gonna leak from the top and I'm gonna see it. I'm not gonna be able to sand it away. And now while the glue dries here, I can start working on other pieces. I like to use this clamp to push the pieces in together. Just makes it that much more easier. And there you go, it's flush. And I didn't have to use a hammer and potentially damage the pieces. This is just friction fitted, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. It really looks solid and it feels like it's not moving. There's enough friction to keep it in place. And yeah, I really think it's just gonna stay there. I really hope so. Here we have a piece that just doesn't have enough grip to stay in place. So I'm gonna use a bit of glue to convince it to stay there. And now already, after just a couple of pieces, if I put them together, we can start seeing the pixel gradient pattern emerging. I think that looks really nice. As you can see here, I'm not applying a lot of glue and I was really afraid of squeeze out because this stuff literally melts the plastic together. And if there's squeeze out, it's gonna show on the outside shell and I really wanna avoid that at all costs. Unfortunately, this led to some joints splitting because there was just not enough glue to hold them together. The last step is to drill a million holes.
some final thoughts on this build. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out and the colors are great. The gradient looks really nice from this uh, sort of purplish blue all the way down to this uh, ivory white. And uh, the guitar plays great. The intonation is good. The action is great. The pickup sounds really nice. Overall, I'm extremely satisfied with how it turned out. Some of the problems that I ran into while making this build was actually picking out the colors. It turns out that it's really difficult to know what color you're buying when you're buying online. So I ended up buying a bunch of different filament and when I saw them in real life, I you know, decided and did some test prints to see if the, the colors really match together. And in fact, I printed so many different test parts that I have enough to build a whole other guitar, but it wouldn't really work as the colors don't match up. Also, I forgot to ground the strings, which is really important if you're building a guitar to get rid of some of the noise. Um, so I ended up drilling a new hole through from the bridge to the control cavity and uh, that was a bit of a stressful moment but it turned out okay and I've updated the model to reflect that. So thank you for watching and I'm going to hand it over to my buddy Conrad for a little demo.